All right, so in this one, we are going to be doing some stuff with Django model forms. Now, what we've seen so far is a way to create models, and we put those models into the admin, and the admin kind of already assumes a form for using model admin. There's other things that you can absolutely do to this as we've already discussed, but one of those main things is, is changing from using the model specifically into using a model form. So a form that's just like this, this is a normal form, um, and actually setting it up in a way that we might want to be a little bit more dynamic. So the first thing we're gonna do is just change the admin to using a model form, and then we will actually add in our own custom validators to this. So without further ado, let's make the form. And inside of our app, we're gonna make a new file here. So new file, and we're gonna save it right away. So Command S or Control S, depending on what you're on. And we'll put forms.py. So forms.py, that is the default name for using forms within an app. So if you're gonna use any sort of form or one form, then this is what you'll do. And a form, of course, is a web form, something like this. This is a web form. So if we we have a way to send it and save it and all that, and then we also have a way to delete it, but overall, this is a whole form. So another way to see this is if we inspect the element. Uh, this is something that's available on Chrome as well as some other things. We're just looking at the code here. And if we look at the code for the content area, as it highlights when I go over it down here, we can see that there's a form right there and that is the form that we're going to be working with uh, or something similar to this. This is an example of a form uh, just in case you weren't sure exactly what it was. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go back into Sublime Text and in our forms.py we need to import forms. So from Django import forms. That's the default import for importing all the forms. And then we also want to import our model because we're going to be doing a model form just like what we did with model admin. So something very similar to the admin. And from here, we'll do from dot models. Remember that relative import uh, for the model that we're going to be working with in our app. We'll import the signup model. All right, so signup model right there. Now, what we want to do is say class and we'll say sign up form, or you could call it sign up model form but realistically sign up form works because we've got our model name here and then form after that you want to kind of follow this conven convention that Django already has right so in this case we said model admin so the name of the model and then what we're working with in the case of this would be admin right so in this case you would never say this is called sign up admin right you would call it sign up form of course you can name it whatever you'd like but uh, following the convention and best practices is, is really good for working with other developers at some point. Um, yeah, so, and that being said, if you do change it or you have several different forms called signup form, you could always be more specific for that if you'd like. Um, so, or you could have notes as well. And that's something that is just nice to know. All right, so now that we've got this form, it inherits from forms.model form which again, it's following a very similar pattern. Well, the exact same pattern as admin, model admin, which we've already seen. So now that we've got this, we actually can set up our form itself. And just like what we saw in the model admin, we do class meta, and then we set the model here, and that's the signup form. And now another thing we wanna do is actually explicitly say what fields are gonna be included in this form. Uh, so we do that in a list. So the fields would be whatever's in this model. So let's say for instance, all we wanted was email. We would put email in here and that's it. So that's what we'll start off with. We'll add the full name later, but for now we'll just leave it as email. Cool, so that's all we actually have to do for our signup form as far as using it in our admin. Um, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and import that form. So just like what we did with models, we wanna import it relatively. So we'll do from dot forms import and it's sign up form right so we still are following that same convention and notice I put it in alphabetical order here as well at least these are in alphabetical order um, so now we'll use our sign up form so I can go ahead and actually comment out this class meta stuff and just say form equals to sign up form and that's the form of course that we just imported so now that I save this, let's actually go ahead and jump back into the admin and take a look at it. 
refresh in here and there we go so now we have a different field actually showing up or just one field actually showing up in our form and that's because of this model form right here so let's say for instance we added first name before email this time and we refresh in here let's let it save and reboot a second up oh, first name is not it that was my mistake it's actually full name is the name of the field notice it gives us this error so I gave the wrong field and it gave us this error unknown field or fields first name because it's not in the model form itself um, or excuse me the model itself so that means the Django is already throwing this error saying we don't know what you're talking about here so make it correct all right so let's change it back to full name we'll run the server again now we don't have any errors perfect so back into our admin we refresh in here notice the order has changed from what we had before right now full name is actually on top emails on the bottom so that order it has everything to do with this list right here so the first thing being first it's going to show up that way so if we wanted to change it of course we could easily do that by changing the order just like this and we refresh in here that's going to change the order on how it's actually rendered which is pretty nice it makes it a little bit easier on us and how we can change things now there is one other thing that you might see is exclude um, and you can exclude fields here as opposed to listing out the fields uh, uh, by themselves implicitly listing them out um, so if we refresh i can do exclude but the bad thing about exclude is it doesn't actually tell you what's going on with this form itself all it's telling you is what's not going on so i would highly 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 recommend not to use exclude use it sparingly so use sparingly um, otherwise you're going to run into some issues here um, uh, you know just with understanding what's going on just by looking at the code because the main thing here is down the line when you want to make changes to stuff you want to make it as easy as possible on yourself and exclude it does not allow us to do that okay cool so now um, now we've explicitly said fields as a as opposed to explicitly saying what to exclude of fields now that we've got this form we can refresh and let's go ahead and just add a new one in our signups we go to add new and we say hi there notice the form is exactly the same as the new one so we could say cfe at cfe.com and then we go ahead and hit save perfect so it's working just as we expected um, everything is going along the right direction all right so that's where we're going to leave it here in the next one we'll do actually validators to this field to kind of make some adjustments to this email field all right so if you have any questions let me know otherwise let's keep going